What's up, dear friends and family? How y'all doing today? This is Coach Sue coming at you with two. So I missed a few days, so I want to kind of catch up. So I want to talk about day 12 and day 13, and we're still talking about what makes a good leader. So day 12, I really kind of didn't go too much over it because it's kind of a duplicate. It's saying that a good leader um, gives due credit to her team. We already talked about that similar situation a couple of days ago, but make sure that you give due diligence to the persons who deserve it, that work in Excel on your team. And we talked about doing it publicly and when you're celebrating them and then privately when you're disciplining them. And then the characteristic number 13 is fostering a culture of collaboration. So <clears throat> what I mean by that, excuse me, is the fact that um, you want the team to be encouraged to work together. That's why it's called a team. There's no I in team. There's no individual um, team. A group is a team. So you have to learn how to collaborate, find the gifts out that are in each individual person and then bring those gifts together and collaborate and make things happen. Um, be productive at it, be successful at it. So that's um, 13. And then 14, I'm going to go ahead and give you that one. The characteristic is encouraging professional development. I myself take on the initiative to find different ways that I can become a better leader. And so I do a lot of research. I take um, online courses. Some are paid for, some are free. But I, mean, I believe in developing myself to be better. I don't feel like I know everything, so I'm always seeking more knowledge. And so uh, the leader, um, that, that you should be that person that encourages your team to have that same mindset, to excel, to be better, to not be complacent. So um, we pretty much covered um, 12, 13, and 14 characteristics of being a good leader. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.